As I explored the museum, I came across two different paintings, both very different in their own ways, while still depicting a very similar story. Magnus Sellers, a piece titled The Orderer, an oiled medium, of which represents the religious dimensions of politics after World War I. As this piece recognizes the events of World War I, Mac Beckman's piece titled Bar Brown, an oiled medium, 1944, represents four figures, where Amy depicts the artist himself and his wife. The claustrophobic composition, further co compressed by the painting's narrow frame, suggests people forced into uncomfortable proximity, like Beckman's own exile community, modeled in Amsterdam by the Nazis' occupation, LACMA collections. Through both pieces, we learn upon the culture of this mental society that have brought separation and togetherness through the war between the self and the nation. While there are seven elements of art, we will focus on three elements, line, color, light, as our analysis develops. Together, we will focus on three elements and how the elements operate within the scope of both works. Magnus Zeller was a very great painter, capturing the struggles of the war. As stated, during the First War, World War, Zeller served in the German Army, 1915 through 1918. In 1918, he participated in the revolutionary struggles of the Berlin Workers and the Soldier Council. Artist Biography and Facts, Magnus Zeller which makes perfect sense to why he was capturing and illustrating pieces of artworks, inspiration coming from his own experiences. As to Max Beckman, he was also very active in the events of the 20th century, Britannica, using his knowledge of the world and his active particip participation of which he chose to be inspired by, he was able to capture it into art. Throughout their art, we will uphold the elements of analysis. There are seven elements of art that are considered the building blocks of art as a whole. The seven elements are line, color, value, shape, form, space, and texture. While there are seven elements of art, we will focus on three elements, line, color, and light, as our analysis develops. As stated in, as stated in the web page, the J. Paul Getty Museum Elements of Art, a line is an identifiable path created by a point moving in space. It is one-dimensional and can vary in width, direction, and length. Lines are often defined edges of a form. Lines can be horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, straight or curved, thick or thin. They lead our eye around the composition and communicate information through their character and direction. As we observe the first painting by Magnus Zeller's piece, The Auditor, we lean our focus to the center character where the main character body line formation is pointed upwards, forming into a triangle, while the other character's line's composition is directly to the main fo focus. The image or figure at the peak of the triangle will appear superior to other images. If the triangle is reversed, the figure at the bottom will appear inferior. A triangular composition can help make an image more coherent in the form appear more dynamic, according to the article Definition of Triangular Composition in Art, Michael Brandt. Observing the lines of the painting, whether it be horizontal, horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, straight or curved, thick or thin, it drives our eyes to the center of the main point of interest. As we observe and understand the painting, diagonal lines in the painting are very fundamental. Diagonal lines are those who are slanted in any direction in its composition. When in use, this is they suggest movement or lack stability. When visiting Los Angeles Country Museum of Art, the painting's description stated, As Germany's defeat in the war and the subsequent downfall of the monarchy brought on a nationwide revolution, those eager from, for the dramatic political change were optimistic. Artists believed that they would play a, an important role in building a better society and joined together in groups such as the Working Council for Art. Idealism gave way to disillusionment as the revolution grew violent and the new Republican government failed to recognize its lofty ambitions. LA CMA Collections Through the lines, the artist captures the lack of unity after the war by the fundamental formation of the characters directing themselves to the main central vertical lines. 
as an expression of strength and hope of unity. As we observe the significant roles of the lions in the first piece by Magnus Zeller and Max Beckman's piece titled Bar Brown and Oil Medio, we see a more vertical and very and very observational thick lines in compared to the first painting observed. Thick lines represent the strength, weight, and power of the object, depicting the dark events of the harsh relationship between individuals and rule upon dictatorship. Magnus and his piece titled The Order contained the lines contained thick thin lines converting unity unity hope after the lack of the government policies. While Max Bettman's piece titled Bar Brown depicting a man and a woman huddled with claustrophobic thick lines, showing the sense of despair caused by uncomfortable proximity during the hard and dark events of World War II. As we mentioned the analysis of lines as one of the elements, color becomes an, a very important fundamental element, as both paintings describe events of different wars. Color on a painting becomes an important symbolism of expression of realistic ideas of emotions expressed in time by the artist. An inspiration of events that surround and make his painting capture the idealistic true events in their own experiences. Upon first glance, Magnus Zeller's piece titled The Auditor, we are exposed to warm colors, browns, oranges, reds, yellows, and then we have a mixture of cool colors, blues, greens, blacks for the shadows. The use of warm colors conveys emotions from big to simple, strong violence. The warm of red, Yellow or orange can create excitement or even anger. We notice the anger on the faces of our characters as they agonize for hope in the center. Through the colors, we sense light, a light of hope. The use of cool colors can be seen as a, as a cause of calmness. When we are exposed to paintings that contain a balance of both warm and cool, it conveys excitement while also causing and portraying calmness. These characters seem to have been caused pain through the warm colors as the main character is covered in blue, portraying hope. As this painting portrays anger, calmness, and excitement, Max Beckman's piece titled Bar Brown depicts a different feeling, another side of the war. Max Beckman uses the dark colors, a sense and emotion of anger and sadness. The use of black, dark browns conveys the dark hardships during World War II, and the claustrophobic and mysterious and tightness where no one could escape, a dark place filled with sadness expressed by the characters' faces, no hope, no help, but stuck. As we examine both color and lines, we will now look at the light from both paintings. As stated above, we have now learned that Magnus Zeller's piece titled The Auditor conveys the idea of togetherness after hardships caused by World War I, while Mac Beckman's piece titled Bar Brown depicts the dark days during World War II, reflecting that people were forced together as exile due to the extreme power from the government. Through their own descriptions of both paintings, we discover the different light elements. Light reflects within the center of main point where it highlights through its composition. As mentioned, we have two paintings that reflect a similar story, highlighting the difficult times that individuals have faced throughout and in wartime. In its simplicity, the first piece, Light Source Comes From Above, is representation of unity expressing hope, while the second painting has no light but dark shadows surrounding both body and face from the characters. No hope within or out in the space of the painting. As we examine both paintings, many individuals can uncover, uncover subjective meanings within the painting observed. The Los Angeles Country Museum of Art provides among the most impressive, impressive paintings of incredible artists, where we can also discover and analyze them. Art is among us every day. We have to learn to appreciate it and understand their individuality. Many artists capture the harsh, realities of the world, acknowledging them as real events and true life that surrounds us every day. Not only have these artists depicted the cruelties of the world, but also given them a new meaning. Thank you for listening to my video.